Dan. Yes. What did you get Jen for Dick Christmas? For what? Valentine's Day. Did you just call it Dick Christmas? Yeah. I got her a plush seal pillow that she can use as a crotch pillow. She needs a crotch pillow. Dan's always thinking about the crotch. <laughs> Everybody, I'm doing my best, my best right now to not sound like a spaz because every time I do these hand histories, Grace says I sound like a spaz. And if you are a spaz, like if that's an actual medical term and you are one, I deeply apologize for my wife because she uses that word like it's going out of style. But here we're playing poker and I made it 20 with a mystery hand. You have no idea what I have. And it's not because I'm, you know, trying to do this really cool thing where you guess my hand. It's because I'm dumb and I missed the camera. So I made it 20 and everybody called and here comes the flop. What I want you to do right now is stop the video, go down to the comment section and type in what you think I have out of these four hands here. We'll see at the end if you correctly guessed the hand that I have. So on the flop of deuce of clubs, four of clubs, jack of spades, action's gonna go small blind check, under the gun slowly, but eventually he will, I, I've seen this, I know he's going to uh, check, and then I go ahead and I bet $50 uh, with one of those four hands that you saw. So that should give you some more clues as to what I possibly have, because obviously some of those I probably wouldn't play like that. Uh, foreshadowing for later. So the button goes all in for 260-ish, and it's going to eventually get back to me. And uh, this is where I have a little bit of a decision to make. So out of those four hands, which one should I call with? Which one should I fold with? Which one should I... Well, those are my only two options. Well, I elect a call. It comes six of clubs, three of spades. And I'm shown ace, jack of diamonds. Guess what, though? It's no good. Because I had B, four or five of diamonds. Ship that pot to daddy. Yeah, so this may be a tell. Uh, we're playing this hand, and like it was twenty dollars down there, and then he called the twenty dollars, and then I raised a seventy-five dollars. And after I made it seventy-five dollars, I got my camera out. So this may be a tell. If you guys see me uh, get my camera out in the middle of a hand, it's probably one I'm gonna play. And I probably shouldn't have told you all that because a lot of you guys do see me at the casino. So uh, after I made it seventy-five, we get an all-in raise for four twenty-eight, and we get an all-in call for less for 336 and I get the count on both just to make sure that the math makes some kind of sense because as you guys know I am sometimes a mathematician I elect you know I have one of the best hands that you you know can have of course I'm behind both of these players but it's still a pretty good hand so I elect to uh, to call the uh, all the money almost $500 get a decent flop I mean that's not terrible 40% uh, not a terrible turn really I mean it gives me more cards that, well no it doesn't it's a bad turn and a you know horrendous river and I end up losing the pot so easy come easy go here early on um, I do better when I have bad hands it seems as uh, the ace king here let's uh, let your daddy down Okay, so right before I hit record, uh, Grace piped in to tell me to stop referring to myself as Daddy. Uh, that's probably fairly decent advice. I'm no longer going to call myself Daddy. So don't worry about that for the rest of this vlog. Uh, here I look down at an unsuited Ace-10 Broadway hand. I can make the highest possible straight here, and that usually will win a pot. That's why I made it $25, and the small blind and middle position player decided to come along, and that's just fine and dandy with me. Another $75 out, the, out there, and it comes 9 deuce deuce, which is, you know, not splendid. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's, you know, I shouldn't have any of that. So I can pretend here, uh, you know, just to have an overpair. It's really all I'm saying is I have. And, and so I buy her out $50. And then the guy there with the, uh, looks like the high school letterman jacket, he, uh, he decides that $50 is a fair price for his hand as well. And then the other dude calls $50 too. So we're, uh, you know, not in fantastic shape here. So nine on the turn leaves me what I would assume is, you know, in dire straits, uh, but it goes check, check, check. And, uh, and then the river's an eight, and I don't see any reason to bet here. Um, so I decide to uh, check it with everybody else. And so then we just, like, flip up our hands to see who, you know, who wins here. And uh, it turns out that ace-10 offsuit is the best hand, and the dealer this time ships the hand to your brother. 
Okay, so it comes to my attention that I am less of a brother than I am a daddy. So for the rest of the vlog, don't worry, I won't say brother and I won't say daddy, at least referring to myself as those roles. Here I have another Ace-10, this time it's suited, which means I can make the best possible flush and I can make the best possible straight. Those are two very decent hands and usually win at showdown. I make it 15, get a call from the big, get a call from the small, so I'm gonna have position here even though I'm in the middle. And it comes Ace-King-3, that's pretty good. That's a bettable flop uh, for my hand. You know, I have top pair and I need to make sure that if they have draws and stuff, they need to pay a little bit for it. So bet 25, small blind calls, big blind volts. So now we're heads up, 100 bucks in the pot. And I really like it to be pushed towards me. So it's a six of diamonds on the turn after he checks. I'm going to fire another bet. Probably not going to be able to get three streets. We're definitely going to get two. And I'm, it's going to be easier to get, you know, him to call with a with a draw on this than it would be if he misses on the river and then he probably might not call my bet, so that would only be one. So that's why I go for two. Uh, river's an eight of spades, so I can't think of many worse cards than that. And after he checks, I check, and uh, he doesn't want to show his hand, but eventually he does. He's got eight, seven, which is a pair of aces with a seven kicker, and I have ace 10, which is a bigger kicker, and so that's gonna scoop the pot. And this was a short, a short, yeah, 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 short session, so this is the last hand, and uh, I was happy to take it down. The pot is pushed to your sister. Real quick session. We just got down like maybe an hour here at Caesar's Palace, uh, the Palace of Caesar, and uh, won like $117. The game's not that good. It's not bad. It's just whatever. Uh, Dan wants to go play at Aria so he can play his normal game, which is like 10, 20, no limit, because he's really good at poker. And uh, we might jump into the 2 5 there like we played here. We might jump into the 5 10 there. I don't know. I'm, I'm parched. I'm thirsty. Man, dinner tonight, so good. So good. Naked Fish is my favorite, favorite, most favoritest restaurant in the entire world. Why do I say it's my favorite restaurant in the entire world? Because their food tastes better than anybody else. And that includes, that includes a restaurant right over here that we're going to tomorrow, Nobu, which is Grace's favorite restaurant in the whole entire world. They're texting me on the Apple Watch, no big deal, so I gotta go find out where they are. And uh, we gotta get back to, uh, uh oh, look at this, this guy's coming after this, this soldier with his dog. Uh, we gotta go to the Aria, they're probably wondering where I'm at. Probably thinking that I'm looking for a lady of the night. <laughs> There's one. The prize white girls better tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pan. If you wanna touch my visuals, caution. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah. 